YouTube. What up? It's your boy Slash Kick coming at you with a pickup video. I know it's been a long time since I've done a pickup video. I even thought I wouldn't even do another pickup video. I got pickups, but I'm just showing you one pickup. <clears throat> a little discussion or whatever. So like I said, what's been up? You know, I missed it a little bit. You know, I still interact with different people. You know. But, you know what I'm saying, at the end of the day, it is what it is. The video slowed down because it's like other opportunities out there to do other things and just a couple things that bother me in this whole posting video thing. But, uh, get to the pickup. How about the young Shaddy Boy 654? Four five nine six seven zero, and it's a release that's coming to everywhere this coming up weekend. I was able to get it early. Well, I'm gonna say early the re Chicago release day, but we had a Ferrari fourteen. the whole 720 look 360 with a spin it twice Jordan Brand if we can get quality releases like this all the time people will hush wouldn't have problems spending that 200 you know I was able to get these I got a brother I live in Chicago I hit him up. He said he wasn't going to get them. He can grab them for me. And not a big deal. I know it's probably going to be a big deal when he's released everywhere. It's coming up Saturday on the 6th. But this is a, this is a good one. This is a pretty good one. And you know it wouldn't be your boy video if he didn't put his own spin on it. Get that lace swap action going. I think it pops more with the yellow. But then in the same breath, it reminds me too much of the Air Baker. So I might just keep it like this like I said I got I got more pickups really not uh, Jordan pickups we'll say I got a couple Jordans you know just Jordan's really ain't been Jordan's really ain't been my thing as of late you know but yeah scoop these bad boys up so good luck to anybody trying to get them this weekend even bigger shout out to everybody that's trying to get them and put them on their feet. Not trying to make a buck out of anything. You know. No whole nother story for a whole nother video. But the reason, one of the reasons why I kind of slowed down doing videos, it started off as a good thing. When Champs was like showing love to sneaker reviewers, you know, giving them them packs or whatever. Or whatever, however, I don't even know how it goes. So if somebody knows how the process goes, somebody explain it to me. I thought it was cool at first, you know. They was hooking up Hess, Foamer, and all them, you know, big YouTubers, Jumpman. I, I thought that was cool. But then they show love to a guy that rep fakes or reps or whatever you want to call it, you know. That's all the way, that's just all the way foul and corny to me, you know. If you're gonna rep fakes, why would Champ show you love? You know, you 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 take it from them. Maybe they don't know, but I know. Everybody else knows you rep fakes. You know, you might not be doing rep videos anymore. But you was getting paid to do them. And, you know, they reached out to some other people. I just want to know the process of how they pick or whoever have you not, because there's some people they missed not on that spending money with them. 
I mean, with them for real. And they ain't getting the love. So, you know, I kind of shut the whole video thing down or whatever. But back a little bit. You know, I still watch people's videos. I still comment every now and then. I still interact with everybody I've met through YouTube. It's just these companies, they contribute to the corniness of it. And for what? They still control the market. But, like I said, man, Splash, I'm about to sign out. That's all I got for the day. Roy 14. You know, until the next time, two fingers, I'll let your boy.